Hi everyone, welcome to problem solving session of pair of linear equations. In this session, we will solve a problem based on graphical method for solving coincident pair of linear equations. Here is the question, it says, find the number of solutions of the following pair of linear equations x plus 2y minus 8 equal to 0 to x plus 4y equals to 16. So step 1, let's understand this problem. We are given with two equations. We have to draw the graph and we have to see how many solutions we are getting from these two equations. Let's proceed towards the second step. Let's start with the first equation. I can also write this as x plus 2y equals to 8. For drawing graph, I need two sets of values for x and y. And those values, if I put in the left hand side, I should get right hand side as 8. So I have to start with any random value for x. So let me start with x as 0 plus 2 into this y has to be 4 so that right hand side becomes 8. So I got the first set of values for x and y. x is 0, y is 4. Now for the second set, let's assume value of x as 4. Therefore, this y has to be 2 so that I'll get 8 on the right hand side. So the second set of values for x and y is x is 4 and y is 2. So we got two sets of values for this equation x plus 2y equals to 8. Let's plot these points and draw the graph for this equation. Here is the graph. You have to draw for the equation x plus 2y equals to 8. Here is the first set x is 0, y is 4. Since x is 0, the point lies on the y axis. So here is the point. Second point is x is 4, y is 2. So point is over here. So let's join these two points. We have got the straight line for the equation x plus 2y equals to 8. Let's move towards the third step. Let's take second equation. We have to draw line for this equation as well. So we require minimum two sets of values for x and y. So we have to go through the same process which we have done for the first equation. So let's start with some random value of x. Let's take x as 2. So it is multiplied by 2 since it is 2x. 2 to the 4. Then this y has to be 3 so that the total becomes 16. So therefore first set of values for the second equation is x is 2 and y is 3. Now for the second set let's assume value of x as 8. It is multiplied with 2 since it is 2x. Therefore y has to be 0 so that total becomes 16. So therefore second set of values for the second equation is x is 8 and y is 0. So we got the two points which we wanted to draw a line for the equation 2x plus 4y equals to 16. Here is the graph. You can see there is already a line for the equation x plus 2y equals to 8. We have to draw a line for 2x plus 4y equals to 16. The first set of values is x is 2, y is 3. So point is over here. Second set is x is 8, y is 0. Since y is 0, point lies on the x-axis. So point is at 8. So here is the point. Let's join these two points. We'll get a straight line for the equation 2x plus 4y equals to 16. Let's move towards the step number 4. That is, we need to find the number of solutions. Here you can see that we had two equations. So we should have got two different lines. But these two lines are merged with each other to give a single line. So these two straight lines are coinciding to give a single straight line. So therefore, every point on this line is common for both the straight lines. That is, every point on this line is a solution for both the linear equations. Since a line can have infinitely many points on it, we can say there are infinitely many solutions for these two linear equations. So we got the answer for the given question. That is, the number of solutions for the given pair of linear equations are infinite. We can predict that number of solutions for these two equations are infinite. How we can do that? Let's see. Coefficient of x is 1 since nothing is over here. So we can say that 1 is there with x. We are having 2 with y and 8 is the constant for the first equation. Similarly, here we are having 2 with x. 4 with y and 16 as constant for second equation. So let's divide coefficients of x from both equations. 
here we are having 1 with x, we are having 2 in the second equation, let us divide 1 by 2. Here we are having 2 in the first equation with the y, so 2 divided by 4 which is there with the y in the second equation, so 2 divided by 4 and the constant in the first equation is 8 and constant in the second equation is 16. So this is the simple fraction, here 2 divides 4, so 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, here 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16. Now if you see this is 1 by 2, let us take as it is, from this after dividing we got 1 by 2, here also we got 1 by 2, we can see that all of them are equal. So from this we need to remember that when coefficients of x are divided that is constants of x and coefficients of y are divided and constants are divided, if we get the same ratio or the same value then we can say those two lines are coincident lines or those two linear equations are coincident linear equations and those equations will have infinite number of solutions. So let us go through the steps we have followed. The complete course for grade 10 CBSE Math is available in pendrive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.